Whether you like the sweet crunch of a bell pepper or the feisty fire of a chilli pepper, there's none like those you've grown yourself. There are literally hundreds of varieties to choose from and deciding what to grow, well that's half the fun. Now's the time to sow them, but before you so much as rip open a seed packet, we thought we'd better share a few secrets to pepper growing success. Here then is our sowing to picking guide to peppers. Few crops come in the variety of shapes, sizes and of course heat levels as peppers and chilli peppers. With so many to explore, there's always something new to enjoy. Grow them yourself and you'll be able to harvest at the peak of perfection and enjoy unrivalled flavour. Peppers need warmth and sunshine to thrive. Warmth is especially important for germination and then to encourage strong seedling growth so they will need to be started off indoors or under cover in most climates. Sow seeds in late winter or early spring, no more than two months before your last frost date. Sow into pots or plug trays of seed starting mix. Space seeds at least an inch or two centimetres apart across the surface, then cover with a little more mix. You might want to wear gloves if handling seeds from especially hot varieties, and please take care not to rub your eyes after touching them. Once you're done, water the seeds in using a fine spray. Seedlings appear quickly when pots or trays are placed onto a heat mat or into a heated propagator set to around 70 Fahrenheit or 21 Celsius. Or secure clear plastic bags over your pots using a rubber band, then move them onto a warm windowsill to germinate. Once the seedlings are up, remove covers, then grow on somewhere warm and bright. After a few weeks, carefully transfer seedlings to their own pots. Do this while they're still fairly small, yet big enough to handle, and always hold seedlings by their leaves, not the delicate stems. Grow lights can be used to help give seedlings a strong start. Continue growing, potting the young plants on again if the roots fill their pots before they're ready for planting. Peppers love sunshine, so reserve them a place in full sun where they will get at least six hours of direct sunshine every day. Acclimatise plants before setting them outside by leaving them out for gradually longer over a two week period, taking care that a late frost doesn't accidentally damage them. Plant out once your last expected frost date has passed. Plant peppers directly into open ground that's been improved with plenty of organic matter such as garden compost. Set plants a minimum of 16 inches or 40 centimetres apart or plant into containers that are at least 1.5 gallons or 6 litres in volume. Use good quality potting soil, enrich with added organic matter, and plant the young peppers so the soil surface reaches just shy of the rim. This will help to avoid runoff every time you water. In cooler, temperate climates, peppers will come into flower far quicker if they're grown on with the added protection of a greenhouse, hoop house or conservatory. Plants may also be grown on a bright, sunny windowsill. Keep plants upright and encourage more reliable growth by pushing in a cane or stake next to each plant, then tying the main stem to it with twine. Larger plants may need several canes. Pinch out the growing point at the top here once plants reach about 8 inches or 20 centimetres to stimulate plants to produce more branches. This creates a bushier habit and healthier plants with the knock-on effect of more flowers and fruits. Once they start producing flower buds, feed plants regularly with a liquid feed high in potassium, such as the tomato fertiliser. Water plants often in dry weather so the foliage doesn't wilt as this can cause undue stress and potential problems such as blossom end rot or leaf curl. In hot weather, you may find you need to water daily. A tray or similar reservoir at the bottom of pots helps to contain water that drains through it so it can be fully absorbed back up through the drainage holes. Peppers are ready to harvest as soon as they have taken on their final colour. Cut the fruits away with a sharp pair of clean pruners, then store in the refrigerator ready to enjoy. They freeze well too. Chilli peppers may also be dehydrated, then pulverised in a food processor to store as chilli flakes in airtight jars. Or how about threading them in a spiral formation to create stunning chilli ristras like this. Arriba, arriba! 
They're absolute stunners, aren't they? I love peppers of all kinds, but as a connoisseur of the heat, I particularly hanker after hot chilli peppers like these. What sorts of peppers do you prefer? You can let us know in the comments section below. And if you're not yet a subscriber to our channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button before you head off. I'll catch you next time.